From Creamer Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. African metal crown manufacturer and supplier, Collier's Packaging, which hosted a launch event for its new machinery at its Alroad facility in Alberton in Johannesburg in February, aims to enhance bottle crown closure manufacturing processes and product output for the beverage industry throughout Africa. Trent Roback has the story. Collier's Packaging MD Ian Victor believes that the introduction of the new metal cap manufacturing machine will put the company on a trajectory to perform on a level that can be compared with the practices of international competitors, making the battle against imports less of a concern. Well, I think first of all is, is that um, this is the latest technology that you can get on the market. So it showcases uh, Codis's ability to actually perform like a global uh, uh, manufacturer. And remember, we always have to compete against imports. So if you can't manufacture like a global competitor, then it's very difficult to actually uh, compete. The PMC 500 metal crown manufacturing machine will be highly beneficial to the brewery industry as these metal crowns are particularly apt for glass bottle closure. Coleus Packaging will be able to align its product offerings with the growth of the brewery industry each year. Coleus Packaging will be able to produce between 7.5 billion to 8 billion metal crowns a year. Moreover, the PMC 500 will ensure high quality metal crowns produced at an increased speed and will be more cost effective to manufacture. This will, in turn, allow customers to purchase affordable metal crowns locally, leaving little to no need for imports. Before we did the refurbishment on, on the machines, we were sitting with something like 55 to 60 percent efficiency. You should be running around about 80 percent uh, to 90 percent. This new line will give us a capability of running at probably 90 to 95 percent efficiency. Victor believes that the introduction of this new machine at the Coleus Packaging Facility in Alberton will contribute to growing the South African economy through the creation of jobs, alleviating the dire straits that engulf the economy at present. So what we're trying to do is, is, is show South Africa that with a bit of investment, we can obviously first of all compete, we can become like a world-class manufacturer and we can actually employ people because the more we actually produce, the, more, uh, the less imports come in, the more people we will need to actually manufacture. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insight into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.